Venga, vamos para allá. Community Q&A de New World Agosto. Well, we need a preview of mounts for the love of God. Cool. <laughs> oh, um, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wish I had some coconuts. Algunos me llamaréis hater. Puede que tengáis razón. Pero cuando yo siento que se están riendo en mi cara, yo siento que se están riendo en mi cara. Digo. Hola, ¿qué tal? Que sepas que todos estos vídeos están grabados en la plataformita morada. Si no me sigues en la plataformita morada, no sé qué haces que no me estás siguiendo en la plataformita morada. He dicho ya que hago directos en la plataformita morada. Oh, ¿por qué lo dices tanto, Lenny? Eres muy pesado. Pues sígueme en la plataformita morada y no seré tan pesado, crack. Venga, disfruta del vídeo. Hey everybody, welcome to Forge in Eternum, where we talk about all things New World. Today we're here to talk about the August Q&A. Uh, but first, you know, I'm sorry if this is a kind of a, a running theme of the episode, uh, but you're probably wondering like, hey, they're shooting this in a new location. Uh, it's a temporary location and we're going to explain why we're here on the dev update that's right around the corner. But with that, why don't we just dive into some questions? When will we receive any information about the upcoming expansion? I'm so glad you asked that. We have a dev update coming that's going to be a deep dive on the expansion. And on that... La semana que viene dev update. Vale. La semana que viene veremos la expansión el lunes que viene. A no ser que se adelante antes. En principio, la semana que viene el lunes. Vale, dev update. Veremos. We will answer, hopefully, all of your questions. Will the expansion go to PTR first or straight to live? The expansion will go to PTR first, um, but it will be a shorter PTR. More details on that to come. Okay. On August 3rd, patch 2.0.2 introduced extreme desync lag and teleporting in Outpost Rush and 3v3 arenas. This vale. is causing PvP to be very frustrating and difficult to play. What are your plans to fix this and how long will it take? Esta es literalmente la razón por la que no estoy jugando a New World ahora mismo. Literalmente. Por el maldito lag del PvP que es infumable. Es literalmente la razón por la que no estoy jugando a New World. Por eso y por... ya sabéis más cosas. Eh, así que me interesa saber qué van a decir de esto. Uh, we are very aware of this. Uh, thank ¿Ah? you for letting us know. It is one of our top priorities. We are working on it uh, as hard as we can. You know, uh, desync is very complicated, so we, we haven't exactly got the root cause of this yet. We are working on it. Uh, good news is we have we do have some specific fixes for there's a hatchet desync, a fire staff. So we've got some specific fixes already coming in. They'll come in with the expansion uh, and we're working hard on it and hope to be able to give an update uh, with positive news on it soon. Are there any plans to rework faction store rewards? Más tarde, pero like bueno. There are a few things that everyone buys, but mostly everything there is useless. When you increase your rank, you already have better gear than what a store offers. Maybe add some craft mods there as well, or make some rotation of rewards. Sorry, that I know you don't like when we don't answer your questions directly. This is going to be answered in the dev update where we talk about the uh, expansion. And, and so there, I guess the short answer is there is going to be some changes coming with the expansion, but it's just not something we're prepared to talk about today. There's a lot of the concern with crit multipliers with this removal of resilient. Can we please get a bit of clarification on this? Uh, so we are removing resilient when we remove wards and banes. Uh, that obviously is going to make certain builds stronger uh, because now you have less protection against crit. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to inherently bake in uh, some crit protection based on equip load. So that will be coming in to compensate for the loss of this. Again, sort of with our theme here, it's you don't have to get this mandatory perk. Instead, we're going to make it inherent on the character. All right. And for Warden Banes, I know you said you'll be getting rid of them, but... Uh, what does that mean for trophies? Does that mean we will have no combat trophies for each enemy type, or will Banes and Wards be two different trophy types? We will continue to have the trophies that we have now. Uh, I think the reason we didn't like the Wards and Banes is because it, it made gear feel, uh, like we said, mandatory and like you had to get that. But I think as a one-time chase to get the trophies, I think it is fun. Uh, it is just for that last little bit of damage. You'll only need them in like the highest level mutator, M3... Uh, 
Creo que sigue siendo un problema esto, ¿no? En plan, porque no puedes tener... No te caben todos los trofeos igualmente. O sea, vas a tener que ir cambiándote los trofeos igualmente. O sea, es igual de tedioso. Va a seguir siendo algo tedioso. Igualmente, menos tedioso, sí. Pero va a seguir siendo tedioso igualmente, ¿no? Sorry. In the highest level mutators coming up. Okay. When is the overhaul to territory influence? Pushing territory is so boring. So, I hate to do this to you again, uh, but we do have the influence changes coming up, the changes to pushing a territory, and no we're going to be... Dis se están repitiendo muchísimo, eh, gente. Se están repitiendo ya demasiado, creo yo, eh. Están repitiendo, literalmente, cada vez que le preguntan algo, ya lo han dicho. En plan, ponen preguntas que ya han contestado. Me parece un poco XD. O sea, todo esto que están diciendo ya se sabe de antes de este vídeo, pero bueno. Discussing that more uh, in the upcoming dev update. So stay tuned, it is coming out rather quickly. Well, we need a preview of mounts for the love of God. Cool. Esto es terrible, tío. Me parece terrible. Oh, es terri um, terrible esto. Eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wish I had some coconuts. Um, yeah, I mean, they're coming and they're awesome and we're really happy about them and we'll be seeing more and sharing more with you over time, but like. We're really not talking about the expansion yet, but we are very soon going to... Loco, ¿van a poner lo de next week todo el rato? Para eso no, pre no contestéis esas preguntas. Para eso contestad otras preguntas. O, 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 no, es que no entiendo. O las contestáis, o no las contestéis y contestáis otras. Pero esto, tío, me parece un poco, no sé, un vídeo vacío stuff. completamente, tío. All right. Um, I would really like an update on when the music sheets from Medley Fair will be added to the game. Uh, so they are in the game, but there's a bug where they're in the wrong root buckets. Uh, we are aware of that. In the Season 3 expansion release, this will be fixed, and you will be able to get them. All right. I only have one more question. You're burning through this fast, but I know we're saving some of the substance for the dev update we're doing very soon. So I'm going to ask this next one. Um, how will you deal with current roots of acquiring BIS gear in Season 3? The improvements to the PvP track have helped a little but in general, acquiring a full BIS set uh, requires company treasury-sized budgets, and there is little way to work towards this through general exploring, gathering, play, due to the expensive and RNG-based crafting system. Esta persona que ha puesto este, esta pregunta no juega al juego. O sea, esta pregunta que está poniendo todo esto, literalmente, llevará jugando muy poco tiempo. Porque esta pregunta es una tontería. Está diciendo, eh, o sea... ¿Cómo lidéis con las, con las rutas de, de... No entiendo. O sea, no entiendo ni la pregunta. En plan, para conseguir bis. Pues para conseguir un bis, lo digo rápido y sencillo. Para conseguir bis, o juegas y esperas a que te caiga en el seguimiento de PvP, o juegas mazmorras y esperas a que te caigan en las mazmorras, o crafteas... O compras haciendo dinero. Estas son las maneras de conseguir bis en el juego. Si no haces ninguna de esas y quieres que te caiga del cielo, amigo, un MMO no es para ti. Es como funciona el, un MMO. Tienes que currártelo, tienes que grindear. Es lo que hay. ¿Vale? O sea, es lo que hay. Pero este quiere, pues, ah, que sea más fácil. Más fácil todavía. En ese aspecto, voy a defenderlos. Han puesto maneras muy sencillas de conseguir bis. De hecho, maneras muy sencillas de conseguir bis precisamente porque va a cambiar todo el, lo que es el, el equipo en la, season, en la Season 4, la Season 3, perdón. En la expansión va a cambiar todo. Van a hacer un rework completo de, del sistema de equipamiento. Entonces, por eso te han hecho todo lo que han hecho para que sea mucho más fácil. Ahora mismo es facilísimo conseguir bis. Entonces, esta pregunta me parece que sobra también, la verdad. Well, the good news here is... There's a lot of news coming. We actually have a special Bounce of Power episode where we dive deep on this and we'll answer this question. Uh, brief, brief preview. It is getting a lot better. You're going to be getting more control and you'll learn much more in that Bounce of Power. Sí que es verdad que craftear es muy RNG. Eso es verdad. Es muy RNG. Demasiado, diría. I think it's a safe bet that this is a huge focus for the... Loot is a huge focus for the expansion. And, you know... We, we, we debated even like doing the Q&A because like, we see all the questions are about the expansion, but we've made a commitment to doing them. However, we also want to hold true to our goals for the expansion and, and like talk about that when we're when we're fully ready. So I'm aware we didn't answer a lot of your questions this time, and I hope you're patient. The dev updates right around the corner. 
And you're going to see a lot of those be answered and more. And additionally, you know, some of the feedback we got because we listen to the community, we hear what your concerns are. Um, we heard that you don't like when we say, you know, this is also something that we would like, but we don't have anything to share right now. So if your question wasn't answered in this and it wasn't. Como pongan this week otra vez metir la ventana de mi casa. La han puesto. Answer, or it's not answered in one of our upcoming videos because we have a lot coming out over the next couple weeks that should answer most, if not all of those questions. If it's not answered, it's likely one of those where we don't have anything to share right now, um, but we will as soon as we do. So keep asking the question. Es que si hicieran esto en directo, pues dices, te lo, te lo compro, pero es que está pregrabado, es que han elegido las preguntas, amigo. Coge preguntas que vas a poder contestar, no preguntas que vas a decir next week. Para eso, haz un vídeo diciendo, eh, gente, la semana que viene, death update. Ya está, porque esto es lo que se resume este vídeo. We don't mind that you keep asking it. We like that. We want to know what's important and what's top of mind for you. So keep asking. And then once we have a direct yes, a direct no, then we'll include it in one of the Q&As or a dev update or a balance of power. So with that, we really appreciate your patience. We're so excited to talk about the expansion and news is coming really soon. Um, otherwise, we'll see you in Eternum. Next week. Escúchame, yo no suelo comentar en, en los vídeos de, de, de New World, pero es que voy a poner next week. Ya está. En plan, el vídeo entero se resume en next week. En eso se resume el vídeo entero, tío. Literalmente se resume en eso. Me parece amazing, la verdad. Pero bueno, es lo que hay.